Welcome to your gold market update charts of the day. It's Thursday, the 25th of January, and we've got an interesting 36 hours or so in markets ahead. It's Mike Smith, senior analyst at John Markets, to lead you around what this all means in the Asian session today. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. Of course, overnight, we saw mixed effort on Wall Street again. After a positive start, we saw major indices pair their gains, and only the NASDAQ and the S&P finished in the green, the Dow and Russell both down. Earnings will continue to dictate sentiment. We did see Tesla after the bell disappoint, and that's influenced US futures to some degree. Uh, but we have got key US data out over the next couple of days, which is critical. Uh, so US futures are near neutral in Asian trend. The Dow is slightly up. Uh, the Nasdaq is slightly down. Asian markets generally lower. Uh, earlier on, uh, though we are seeing the ASX holding on to small gains and is up 0.15%. It's actually moved up slightly in the last few minutes as well, uh, up to around about a quarter percent of the upside. Uh, likewise, with the Chinese indices, uh, both the Shanghai and the Hang Seng looking to continue uh, moves to the upside, particularly the latter. Uh, material stocks are outperforming on the news of uh, Chinese softening or monetary policy to some degree. So we've seen a surge in copper uh, and materials outperforming on the ASX today. European futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon as they close prior to that late market drop in the US. A US dollar index edged lower, but still trading around that resistance level. It is mildly lower in Asia at this stage, but FX very, very choppy in the early part of the Asian session. We are seeing gold looking a little softer than it has done for a few days on the move down yesterday around about 2015 so bounced downwards from that 2030 level may even test that key psychological level 2000 but that i suspect may be uh, subject to the data that comes out over the next couple of days copper surge to hit the high for the month and obviously for the year to date uh slightly softer today in early trading but looks as though the buyers are coming back in again as we move through the asian session be interested to see what happens when the LME opens this afternoon. And all is trading near the top of the range after another positive session. Uh, Bitcoin looks weak despite small gains yesterday. We are seeing a potential bounce. 40,000 looks important, which is challenging as we speak. Uh, so holding on in Asia. Uh, a move to the downside beneath 38 would probably be significant technically. And 41 to the upside would suggest that the buyers are back in after a pause. So jury's out in terms of what might happen technically to Bitcoin next. But as I said, it's all about data and earnings, really, in terms of sentiment over the next couple of days. Uh, we've got the ECB rate decision as well, which is going to impact, obviously, on uh, the euro uh, this afternoon. And then this evening, we've got US weekly jobs, GDP, and the Q&Q PCE data which may be uh, looked at as being indicative of what might happen in tomorrow's more important year-on-year -year data. That data is, I can't stress enough how important it is. Uh, it is expected to come in at 3%. If it's above that, we may see a market sell-off. Uh, as the market's predicting a slightly more dovish stance than the Fed is telegraphing at this stage, uh, anything lower than 3%, and I think we'll get some more buying coming into markets, particularly into growth stocks, which is tech, which is already doing very well, of course. A couple of charts at Core RI today. On the ASX, we're liking new farm. You can see that move through the key level at 5.30, trading around 5.35 at this stage today, which is towards the high of the session, and possible move up towards that 5.59 level uh, that we can see was touched in july last year that would be a very reasonable four percent on this stock uh, it is a good dividend pair as well so there could be uh, an opportunity there long term uh, generally speaking the agricultural stocks are doing well elders are also worth a look that's an interesting sector just to keep an eye on in terms of the fx market it's difficult to call but we are seeing a bounce in the usd this morning versus the yen you can see there we had a us dollar weakness through the majority of yesterday until we came to the US session, then we're going to bounce, uh, retracing around about half of the day's losses. Uh, in Asia, we had this a continuation of that, but stuck under this 147.75 level. We see a potential move back into this range, uh, worthwhile being patient 
uh, and then maybe up to 148.20 uh, would be a reasonable price target on this. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.